I am so honored to be able to share with you the vision and the assignment that is the morning moisture. Somebody said, what is the morning moisture? It is a time of thanking the Father, honoring the Father, and adoring the Father. So often, we can be so busy trying to receive what we want from the Father, even putting a demand on what he's promised. And so often, we miss opportunities to thank him, to appreciate him, to honor him, to adore him. And so in these few moments, that is just what we are going to do. We're going to thank the Father. We are going to honor the Father. We are going to adore the Father. I love to ask the question as it is asked of me by the Holy Spirit, when is the last time that you honored the Father, that you thanked him, that you appreciated him, that you called out his name, Jesus, 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 wonderful Jesus. It is so important to thank the Father, just to thank him, not to ask him for anything. Not to seek him for what you can get, but just to honor him uh, yeah, for who he is. He is that he is. He is to be honored. He is to be adored. He is to be treated as precious. Father, we treat you as precious. Because you are precious. You are the true and living God. There is none like you, none as good as you, none as powerful as you, none as kind as you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Father. That, that is the purpose of this live cast or this broadcast. I want to read with you or read with you or read to you out of the 91st Psalm or Psalm 91. You may have heard it before, but it always bears repeating. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place shall abide. Oh, let me say that properly. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. God is the Most High. I dare you to open your mouth and say, God, you are the Most High. God, you're the most high. There are those who are high in their own minds, but he is the most high. Father, we bless you. We thank you. And we honor you. We appreciate you. We declare or we redeclare that you are the most high. Nothing's higher than you. Politics aren't higher than you. Race isn't higher than you. Money isn't higher than you. Education isn't higher than you. Religion isn't even higher than you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the most high. And because you are the most high, you've proven that you are the most high. We honor you. We thank you. We adore you. We appreciate you. We value you greatly. Come on, I dare you to tell him that right where you are. That you value the Father greatly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Bible says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Your, your knees sometimes represents the strength of your will and every strength of every will shall bow. The truth of the matter, it has bowed, but sometimes people just won't admit it. Ah, oh, my shit. Thank you, my father. I give you praise. Isn't the word good? Isn't the presence of the Lord good? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank you, Jesus. There's something powerful about recognizing his name. Because in his name is the integrity of his character. He has excellent credit. I've said that before. God has excellent credit. He's never laid. And the truth of the matter is he never borrows. Uh, yeah. Oh, gee whiz, I receive, Father. Thank you. Thank you for helping me to thank him. Can I, can I read some more to you? The psalm says in verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you, my Father. Can I just read that again? His word is so good. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. Number one. Number two, he is my fortress. He is my God. Wow, that's so powerful. He's my refuge. He's my fortress. And he's my God. In him will I trust. Holy Spirit told me to tell whoever needs to hear this that you can trust God. You can lean on God. You can rely on God. He won't bend. He won't break. And he will not shatter. I'll say that again. You can trust God. You can rely on God. You can depend on God. He will not break. He, he will not bend. He will not break. And he will not shatter. Will you just join me in thanking him? God, I thank you. You can be trusted. Your word, his word says... He can be trusted. He can be leaned on. He can be relied upon. He will not bend. You will not break. And you will not shatter. We bless you. And you won't bend. You won't break. And you will not shatter. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Father. This is so awesome. You already know how some people, they have bent, they have broken on you, they've shattered. And the shards got all in your heart, all in your mind. But the Father says, right in his word, he said, brother, make sure you remind him, make sure you re-remind some people. I will say that he is my refuge and my fortress. And my God, in him will I trust. He won't bend. He won't break. And he won't shatter. Isn't that awesome? Father, we bless you. We honor you. We glorify you. Not just right now, but in each and every moment of our lives. Sometimes consciously, sometimes subconsciously. Thank you, Father, that you are who you say you are. Here's something that the Spirit of the Lord told me to tell the people. So, so as Paul says in 1 Corinthians, uh, that which I've received from the Lord, I'll deliver that to you. He told me to tell you that your secret is safe with him. Ah, uh, Jesus. Receive that. Your secret is safe with the Father. I don't know who else you told something and it got out. I don't know who else you confided in and you realize later on that wasn't the wisest thing for you to do. But the Father wants you to know your secret. What, what it would be best not to be known by everybody. He said, listen, your secret, your private thing, he said, is safe with me. I won't let you down and I won't rat you out. Father, thank you. You won't let us down and you won't rat us out. Thank you, Father. We honor you. We adore you. Here's the last thing I want to share with you. As we honor the Father, he arms us. As we honor the Father, as we appreciate him, as we tell him actively how much we love him. How much we love. Notice we're not asking for anything. We're just thanking him. We're honoring him. We're adoring him. We're appreciating him. This is, this is not a back way in. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Now, but I'll tell you one thing. As we honor him, he arms us. Arms us with what? He arms us with his word. 
He arms us with strength, clarity of mind, stability of mind. It's happening as we thank him and honor him and appreciate him, adore him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, the scripture says, and then go deeper into his courts with praise, celebration, exaltation. Thank you, Father. Extolation. We extol. We greatly praise him with great energy, great excitement, great creativity. Thank you, Father. As we, as we prepare to go. Hallelujah. I speak, or should I say, I repeat after the Father. It's a powerful thing to repeat what the Father says. Because whenever we repeat what the Father says, we can't go wrong. We cannot err. We do not have to depend upon our own minds, our own intellects. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so, I repeat to you and I remind you and yea, even re-remind you that as you stay in the secret place, you can live, take the secret place with you. How do you do that? By your spirit. Your invisible you. Your, you know, as I was getting up, I didn't want to get up because I want to hold on to the pillow. But as I began to think of his goodness and his kindness, his provision, his protection, everything about it. And as I began to say his name out of my mouth, Jesus, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. There was a shower before my shower. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I declare that you are everything that God says you are. I want you to know that how you are sometimes will never overpower who the Father says you are. Mm. I'm going to say that again. How you sometimes are never overshadows who the Father says you are. That's why we honor him. That's why we thank him. That's why we appreciate him. Isn't this beauty beautiful? In the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord, to behold the beauty of the Lord. That's what I was after. David says that I will dwell in the house of the Lord to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire or to ask questions right in his presence. And whither shall I go from his presence? Everywhere I go, he's there. I just need to remain conscious. I just need to remain conscious to his everlasting presence. Thank you, Father. You are healed, you are whole, you are ready through the word and by the power of the spirit of the true and living God. He is the most high. I like that. He is the most high. Go with that. Thank you for joining me for the morning moisture.